Hi guys, uh, I am the shambling corpse of Mitch Knox, the digital editor of themusic.com.au. We're here on day two of Big Sound in Fortitude Valley and I am here with Nairi. Uh, how are you doing today, Nairi? I am very well considering. Very well considering. We were just talking uh, before we started this interview that uh, actually Nairi doesn't drink coffee, so she's bounced back after a massive showing last night with yeah. Sans Coffee. So what, what are your tips and tricks for, for fronting up for another day? Uh, well, I wish I had an apple, as I was saying before, apple is a good substitution to coffee, but I don't. No? I don't. You'll have to get yourself an apple while you're out in the valley, <laughs> valley I think. Yeah. So let's talk about last night, your, your showcase last night. Um, yeah. Huge for, for the, like, lots of industry people there, it was massive. How, how was it? How did you feel sort of playing for the crowd? And... It was quite nerve-wracking. I mean, this is our first big sound. Um, and there seems to be a lot of hype around what we're doing, so that kind of creates a bit of a, you know, <laughs> nervousness um, for us, whether we're going to deliver or not. And yeah, I guess um, I think it was quite hard for us on stage. There were a lot of technical um, difficulties um, sound-wise, but I felt like it translated well, um, judging by what people were saying to us afterwards. So, yeah. And in terms of, uh, I guess, your your musical plans and, and where you want to go personally and creatively and stuff, you know, do you feel like Big Sound is, is going to provide a platform for you to be able to better explore those things, or is it just sort of like another another notch in the belt on a many step journey to, to a final destination? Yeah, well, I think it's it's definitely still another step to you know, I guess the thing with music is that you never feel like you're made it or you've reached, you know, you've reached your dreams, but, um, you know, I, I definitely like this, you know, which is the same with everyone else who's here, I'd love to see my career just keep going and going and going and never stop doing what I love, so, um, you know, we'd like to take things overseas, which we are next month, um, and to build a team uh, over there as well would be Amazing. Any anything you know in the pipeline for, for next year yet, or are you sort of just trying to get through these next few months and then see where you're at? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we're uh, we're working on a big production for the album launch, which will happen early um, next year. So it's going to involve lots of live installations and crazy costumes and just, I guess, more th um, theatrics with um, the live shows. So yeah, that's a massive, massive job because I've never done anything like that and meeting with lots of um, art designers and lighting designers, and, yeah. Is the visual component of your performance, do, do you see that as equally important as the audio, the, the oral component? Definitely, definitely. I mean, I think that uh, I've always been someone to not want to be in a box and always try to push myself. I mean, sometimes I make shit out, but you know, everyone does. <laughs> Just gotta keep pushing the boundaries. So yeah, and hope you get away with it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's hope exactly. you get away with it. Yeah, excellent. Well, I, I won't take any more of your time. It's a big day ahead. There's plenty to do. So thank you so much for stopping by and having a chat on the couch. Greatly appreciate it.